Hi, this is Dr. Jenny Mo. I'm going to show you how to put together a rear wheel cart. So this is a small rear wheel cart for a kitty cat named Ezra. And I'll show you how we're going to put everything together and um, a few different options of accessories because we're sending everything for Ezra. So we're going to put the top of our frame onto the bottom. If you aren't sure, just start at the lowest setting. You can always adjust it. We're going to put the screw, the rounded head in and on the inside. So those should push straight through. Take your lock nut. Oopsies. And just screw this on. It's okay to do it just finger tight for now. You can always go through um, or you will need to go through and tighten everything up with a wrench and screwdriver when you're all done with your fitting. So then we're going to put on our side arms. The buckles are going to be on the outside. So this is going to be my right side arm. I'm again going to start at the shortest setting. These ones, um, you they are threaded. So you're going to have to use a screwdriver or your fingers to get those through. And the head of the screw is going to go on top. The lock nut is going to go on the bottom of the post. And here's our left one. You can see some of these. This is the double walled sidearm that's extra strong because this is an adventure cat. If you're having trouble with your sidearms breaking, please contact us and we can send you replacements. I'm always faster at this when I'm not on camera, so bear with me. And our lock nut. All right, let's get the wheels on. So these are our smaller bolts here. I'm just gonna take our nut off of that, take the spacer off. And it's a good rule of thumb to start um, probably in the middle, the instructions say to start all the way in the rear holes. You'll see that there are six hole options for each block. Unless you have a tiny cart, teeny tiny, um, this is what your blocks will look like. They may be a bit bigger for bigger carts. So I would start in either the middle or the rear. And you'll see this would also give you more height adjustability. So depending on your pet's measurements. Um, if you have any questions, you can always call us and ask what you should start at. So the smaller ones just push right through. The bigger ones you might have to do a little um, work with a wrench to get it through. Make, your, make sure your spacer's on. Our wheel and the nut. And again, remember this is gonna be loose. Um, when you have the right fit and the right adjustments, make sure you tighten that up with two crescent wrenches. All right, other side. So I chose the middle top, so I'm gonna do that on both sides. Push that through, spacer, wheel. Um, put the wheels with your valve facing out in case you need to add air, it makes that easier. Your wheels will come inflated. There you go. All right, I'm gonna put it on this little stand. Okay, so the different accessories that you have are standard ones. You've got your stirrups that just clip onto the back. <laughs> Sorry, it's not letting me choose the right one. There we go. All right, we've got our stirrups without buckles. So your regular stirrups will clip on back here. If your pet, like uh, Ezra here, has legs that extend forward, you can ask for stirrups, or we will give you stirrups if you've described that appropriately, that don't have a buckle on it. And the purpose of that is to go over the bar 
and then you're going to thread it through this little tri-glide. So that your pet's legs could be suspended forward. So you can check our website or um, social media for some picture examples or just ask us to send you one. So that way I would not use these if my pet's legs could not go back. This is the back of the cart. So I would suspend them from the side if I wanted to suspend my pet's legs forward if they were paralyzed and very rigid. So that's what these are for. Take that off for now. So our standard harnesses look like this. As Rosa Kitty, so he doesn't need the cutout here. Otherwise, males will have a cutout at both the top and the bottom of your rear harness. The labels should go on the right side. So they're just going to clip in right here. You could, for smaller pets like this, you could leave the harness attached to the frame. Check out our uh, YouTube and social media for videos of that. You could put the back legs in with the harness already clipped in. This strap is to go over the top of your pet's back just to help keep them in place. Mainly if you were to do the other option of putting the harness on first and then buckling your pet into the frame, which some people find easier. So our standard front harness looks like this. You have a D ring for the leash on top. Your label is on the right and your two clips your male clips are going to clip into the frame right here. Note that all of these buckle positions are adjustable. You've got hose clamps on all of them so that you can move it as needed and you can ask us for help if you need to get the right fit. Um, an alternative that we're testing out to this standard front harness is a modified mesh harness. So this harness is made by Papia. You can see we're testing this out. Cats are notorious for being able to wriggle out of these harnesses like nobody's business. So we're gonna try this with Ezra and this will be a consistent offering if it works out well for him. We've also tried this with the bunny recently too. So you can see I've sewn buckles onto the side, on each side. And this is a step-in vest style harness. So we've put our pet's front legs through there. This would velcro all over their back. And an extra clip to secure. Your leash could go here. And then these buckles, just like the other one, are gonna clip straight into that wheelchair frame, like that. Uh, you may have buckles here for a belly strap, which I did not show you. But I wanted to show you another option. Um, Ezra is a kitty cat and also the, the belly straps haven't worked out well. So we're doing a modified belly strap for Ezra. So this is going to Velcro over the frame. So I'm going to take the Velcro side. You see the Velcro is on one side. I'm going to have that face away. So there's no Velcro on this strap that's going to touch Ezra's belly. And just Velcro it over the top. And same here. There's more Velcro on one side than the other for Ezra because he's still growing. So that way you can see. Ezra has lots of support for his belly in addition to his back legs and the vest harness. So he's going to be fully supported here. All right, so if you have any questions, um, we have some other videos on how to get a right, a proper fit for your pet. Check those out, or you can email us, doggonwheels, D-O-G-G-O-N-W-H-E-E-L-S, at gmail.com, or give us a call, 628-256-1500. Thanks so much, and happy wheeling.